I'm James McMinn from the University of Glasgow. Um, I'm currently doing my PhD and the entire focus of my research is on trying to use Twitter to um, detect and summarise uh, real world events. We're demoing today as of a platform which we're aiming at journalists. Um, we're able to actually pick up events as they happen on social media and often this is before journalists are able to pick them up. The idea here is that a journalist can be sitting there, can be writing a story and our system's continually sitting there listening to Twitter, listening to social media and if something happens, our system is able to pick that up automatically and it can alert the journalist to this. It then starts pulling in as much information as it can find entirely automatically about this event. So it reduces the amount of time that they need to spend searching for, for new events, new sort of news stories, and they can spend more time actually producing content. Um, really sort of the idea here is that it can do all that as well as providing, providing with alerts before they would necessarily get them otherwise. I think uh, social media has already changed how, so, how sort of journalists work and how they do their day-to-day -day job a lot. I mean, CNN, uh, as an example, are finding two or three stories a day just on social media. And I think more and more sort of social media is being used as a source, particularly in things like disaster events. So when the plane got shot down over Ukraine, most of the pictures and the information they were receiving were coming from social media. I mean, um, Malaysian Airlines first announced that they'd lost the plane on Twitter. That was the first official announcement that this plane had been lost. So it's kind of, it's, it's becoming a, a new source of information.